Well, I, I think it, you know, it comes from a place of, of love for the craft, first and foremost. Um, you know, Rico Love and I were talking about it a couple of weeks ago. You know, the great ones do it, whether anyone is going to see it or hear it or not. Um, so, um, you know, I, I would never let myself get down because I have a setback, you know, musically, because it's really about um, the, the largest part for me is about the creation of the art itself you know that's that's the part that i have control over um you know the art coming out um the art being received going platinum winning grammys that you know that's the part of the game that is not in the artist's hands like you know jay-z said one one time that all he can do is speak his truth on an album and then once it's done and he turns it over it's now in someone else's hands to you know say that it's a success you know it's he he can always believe that it's good and and our art we always believe that it's good it's up to so it's up to us to make it good it's up to someone else to say you know this is grammy worthy this is number one worthy this is you know so i i think that's how you keep the persistence and not get down because you realize there are so many things you know in the game beyond the art that are beyond your control. The art is the, the one thing that's within your control. And then everything else, you, you'll just have to see how, uh, you know, how it shakes out. And hopefully, you know, it, it, it shakes out good for you. And if it doesn't, or if it takes some time, you know, you still believe and, and double down on that art. Um, you know, we were just talking about Quavo and the Migos, you know, Bad and Bougie is when a lot of, when the world caught them but you know in Atlanta we've known them from you know pipe it up and you know look at my dad and, and things like you know so it's you there there's always a building there's always a you know uh, just a season for building and then a season for blossoming and so you have to you know know which season you're in and, and be grateful and not get down on yourself regardless of the season and no because I'm with you I, I think it's you know it's all in due time um, you know, maybe, um, I would, cause I've always kind of been, you know, pri you know, private and I pride myself on being kind of like a quiet professional. So, you know, I maybe would have learned social media early and learned that type of interaction early to, you know, when it first, you know, began, I remember watching JD and, and B Cox and those guys and I'm just like, you guys are crazy. Just like, you know, posting pieces of your life on, you know, just recording yourselves. And, you know, so I, I may tell the younger version of myself, um, you know, to be more vocal, um, you know, about the successes, uh, you know, that I was a part of and that we were putting up. But, you know, at the end of the day, like you say, you, you get to where you're supposed to get to. And, and a lot of times this in the time, uh, in the timing that you're supposed to get there. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful uh, to, you know, to be here now and, and you know, receive the flowers now and kind of uh, be become a, uh, a, a more of a name, uh, you know, at, at almost 40. Uh, so that's cool. Yeah, so I think that you, the, the concept of it was from uh, Brian Michael Cox and Chris Hicks. Um, it was, it, it's their baby, their brainchild. And, um, you know, it was before the quarantine, it was meant to go and sit and, you know, talk with producers about their process. Cause I think what the, what the verses does is, you know, makes you aware of who did what and all of these great songs and what mastery, uh, is, is doing. Uh, and, and what we want to continue to do is kind of get into the process of how those songs came to be and you know not just those songs but the overall process of the creator and it's, it's really kind of a um a, a bit of a how-to you know so for young creatives who are tuning in and watching just to to see what nuggets that they can pick up um from a production and and songwriting standpoint so yeah uh, uh b cox and chris hicks you know started it and then coach k from uh from quality control and p got involved and then they asked me, you know, post the verses to, uh, you know, they added a, it was just supposed to be a production component. And then they added the songwriting component and asked me what I host, um, that, that, that part of it. So that's the, the goal is to really highlight, you know, your favorite songs and how they came to be and also shed some light on the history. I mean, we've had some people on, you know, and, and people are like, Oh, you know, I didn't know that Carrie Hilson was involved in Icebox, 
and writing that. And then she's sharing a story about the, you know, the I'm so cold, I'm so cold. It's like, no, that's actually Zeke who co-wrote. That's not Timbaland. He, he's sounding like Timbaland. But when she told that story of like, you know, he just did it and she's like, I'm cold. She's like, no, no, no. He, he he does it a little more like this and then Tim comes in and is like, yo, that sounds just like me, just keep it. Just, you know. Um, so we, we kind of, we get those little nuggets and, and then, um, you know, also just telling people the, um, you know, to, to appreciate it and to have the love for the craft. Like that's, that's kind of, we always ask the creatives, like, what would you tell, similar to what you just said, what would you tell your younger self? Or, or what does it mean to master the craft to you? And, you know, it's, it's always, um, you know, love and appreciation for the art is definitely something that continues to pop up. And, and hopefully we're inspiring young creatives who are watching it to, you know, know um, to understand that what we do is, is not a, primarily about the fame chase or the money chase. It's about the love and then all of those things fall into place.